Hi, boys and girls. My name is Miss Stevens, and this year we're going to make art rock. But uh, before we do, we have some important things we need to talk about, most in particular about how you and me, we're going to make this thing happen. I've gathered up the best art supplies just for you and me to use to have so much fun. Now, before we can get to art making, let's talk about how to spell the word art. A R T. Each letter stands for something. The A stands for aim. You, in art class, should always aim to do your best and to do what's right. I love teaching art. I love having you in art. And I love watching you create masterpieces in art class. The R in art stands for respect. You should have respect for yourself, your friends, and the art room. The T, well, that's for trust. You need to trust in yourself and trust in your ability to learn. Art can sometimes be frustrating, but just when you think you can't do it, mwah, masterpiece complete. Yay! We are going to go on so many adventures this year, exploring other countries and other cultures, learning about new and exciting places, wrangling alligators and crocodiles. JK, that's just crazy. LOL, sent help. Oh my goodness. We are going to bust out, though, the clean up drums. So get ready for a lot of fun and action. But before we can get to all of this, we need to talk about the art room routines. Routines are the things that we do every time we come to art class. For example, we always walk down the hallway and stop on a spot that's six feet from the person in front of us and behind us. We don't need to be dancing down the hallway, no matter how awesome our dance moves are. We for sure want to make sure that we keep our hands to ourselves. And I don't know what's happening here, but those spots are for walking. And get your hands off the wall, Stevens. We need to make sure that we're standing nicely. Also, trust me when I say I'm in there, you don't need to knock. When it's your turn for art, I'll open the door and it's time for us to sanitize our hands. You'll get one pump of hand sanitizer and it's important that you rub the hand sanitizer between your hands and then rub between your fingers and the backs of your hands to thoroughly sanitize and clean your hands before art. Once your hands are sanitized, go ahead and put them together like you're cradling something special between your hands. Now let's talk about some ways we can greet one another without touching each other. We could do an air hug, an air high five, of course, I do love a good dance number. We could always dance it out. Chicken dance is always perfect. And then what about a good old wave? That's right, not your traditional one. So an air hug, air high five, a wave, and jazz hands. Sometimes it's hard to breathe with your mask on. Let's talk about some breathing techniques. Inhale. Exhale. Here's what that looks like without my mask on. We'll be keeping our masks on. When you hear the singing bowl, take a full breath in, fill your lungs. When it's so full, go ahead and let it out. While keeping your mask on, you can do a breathing break at any time. Just take a full breath in, hold it, Ooh, let it out. Allow your shoulders to come down and relax. When you walk into the art room, it's important that you walk directly to your seat with your hands together. Sit down and go ahead, move your messy mat out of the way, and let's begin with an art start. You can draw your art start on the dry erase sticker that's on your table. You might not have much time to work on your art start. That's okay. It's just the beginning of art. So when you're all finished, or perhaps if it's time for us to stop, use the back of your dry erase marker to erase your masterpiece. Go ahead, put your dry erase marker back, cover up your circle with your messy mat and put your hands in the correct place to show me that you're ready to learn. When art class is over, I always pick one person to play the cleanup drums. If you're that person, please make sure that you sanitize your hands before touching the drum sticks. Now let's hear the cleanup drums. Amazing, I know. Please make sure you put the drumsticks back and now let's talk about how to play the cleanup gong. There's two ways to do it. Just a good hit in the middle or you could go slowly around the edge of the circle, hitting it a little harder and harder as you go. 
When you're finished, put the mallet back at the top. We'll still have a table caller this year. Unfortunately, the table caller will just have to use a loud voice and not a microphone. Remember, if you're standing behind your chair with your zero in the air, then the table caller will call your table to line up. Please make sure to leave enough space for safety from the person in front of you and behind you. I am so excited to have you back with me in the art room to create.